Hey everyone, Mrs. Bianchi. We're looking at question 13, which is really a rehash of questions one through six in a way, because what it's asking, they want to know which triangles have an area greater than 15 square units. Select all that apply. Use your work for questions one through six to help you. Now, some of you are having trouble identifying what you might call the height of your triangle, which would also be the height of the parallelogram that could be formed. And I drew some uh, red lines just to help you understand a couple of things because I'm going to show you how you can come up with the parallelogram that would match it. See, if I move this line here, which is equal and congruent to that, and if I move this line over here, do you see how that would form a parallelogram? And this green line, <clears throat> this green line here would be the height of the parallelogram. So what do you really need to know? You need to know what's how long is that line right there, the one that I'm moving, this base, and how tall is this thing? And if you multiply those two things together, that would give you the area of the parallelogram. But remember, it's a triangle, so you would take half of that. So basically what you need to look at, half, let's say that, that we're talking about um, something that has uh, an area of 30, of 30 square units, and it's a rectangle or a parallelogram. If you take half of that, isn't half of 30, 15? So what I just said is very important to help you understand how you're going to select the answer for number 13. Let's look at number two. Now, if I was going to form a parallelogram out of this, I would move this here and this here, and then we have a parallelogram. And if we were interested in finding the, the area of the parallelogram, we would be multiplying the base, which would be this red line, with the height, which would be this green line. Now, if it's a triangle, aren't you really just taking half of that? So same thing here. Let's take a look. If I was going to move this line over here and this line over here, and I was to find the area of that parallelogram, I would be multiplying the base, which would be this line, with the height, which would be this green line because it's perpendicular. So if it's a triangle, you're just going to take half of that or divide it by two. Let's take a look at this one. If I was going to find the area of this as a parallelogram, wouldn't I <clears throat> move that here and let me move that out of the way. In this here, doesn't that form a parallelogram if I trace around it? So if I was going to find the area of the parallelogram, I would multiply the base, which is this number here, times the height, which would be that green dotted line. But if I'm interested in half of that, which is what a triangle is, then I would have to divide that by two or take half. Let's look at number five as a parallelogram. If I move this here, let's move this first, move this here and move this here, see how that forms a parallelogram? And if I was to find the area of this, wouldn't I be multiplying the base times this green number, which would be the height? I'd be multiplying this red, it looks like I didn't make that quite long enough. So I'd be multiplying this number times this green number, but I'm interested in half of that. A triangle is a half of a parallelogram. For number six, if I was gonna turn this thing into a parallelogram, I'd move that here and this here, and this would be the height, wouldn't it? This green line would be the height. So what's the base and the height? It's this line here, and the height would be the green line. So let's look at that again. The base would be this, the length of this red line, which is obviously congruent, equal and congruent, regardless of where I put it. But you know, for the base of the triangle, it's here. And I'd multiply it by this green number. But if it's a triangle, I have to take half of that because it's half of the parallelogram. So when you look at your answer choices, for this question, consider what I just said about each of these figures.